So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys about strata materials inside UE5. So we're going to make this glass shader using the new strata material system. So strata is the new material system that's going to replace the legacy material system. And it's essential that you learn this because uh, this is like totally going to change the whole material workflow. Before I start with the video, a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If you guys want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. Okay, so now let's start with the video. So this is my scene setup. The first thing that you're going to do is to go to your project settings and enable the strata option and that will give you strata support. Let's create a material. After creating the material, you can open it. We have the substrate slab BSGF. BSGF stands for bi-directional scattering distribution function. So this is a new node. So we have the diffuse albedo. We have the F0, F90. We have the roughness, anisotropy, normal and subsurface scattering and all of that stuff. So let me explain what each of this does. So the diffuse albedo is your color, right? Then the F0 is the specularity in the middle and the F90 is like the specularity value on the sides. So the edge specularity. So 0 and 90 are like angles. So this roughness is straightforward. You can apply a roughness map or you can like set a scalar parameter for that. Anisotropy is like specularity but stressed. It's used in like brushed metals and like those kind of materials. So the normal is for normal maps. We have a few subsurface scattering options as well. So in this video, we're going to make the glass shader. So let's click in the canvas right here and that will give you the global options. And now you can change the blending mode to translucent colored transmittance. So now we have set the shading model to translucent and we can make translucent materials. After that, search for refraction. So in order to make glass, we need access to the index of refraction. Now add a scalar parameter and set the IOR to about 1.4 or 1.3. After that, add a diffuse color and set it to black. This is physically accurate. So you need to like follow how like actual materials behave in the physical world. Next we have roughness. So I'm going to add a scalar parameter and I'm going to give it a little bit of roughness. And in the material view still, we don't get anything, right? So in order for this to look like glass, we need to add the subsurface scattering. So we need access to the SSS MFP. So this stands for subsurface scattering mean free path. And this is like the actual distance in centimeters, which the light ray travels inside an object and illuminates that object. So subsurface scattering is a phenomenon where light enters an object and like scatters within the object, right? So that's like the distance. So we're going to add a node called substrate transmittance to mean free path. This node will allow you to give a color and a thickness and it's going to convert it to the mean free path. Whenever you add a new node, make sure that you save and apply the material. So now we can give it a color. So this is like the glass color. It's like the glass tint. You can add a color for that. That's a vector three or a vector four. And that's it. So if you apply this material to any object, you will see that like it behaves like glass, right? Now you can convert these additional nodes into parameters and right click and create a material instance. And now you can change all the properties in your game within your game. And as you can see, this is totally real time. And uh, the glass that you're seeing here, like when you change the roughness, right? That was not possible previously, like the frosted glass effect. I mean, light is like scattering within the glass and you're getting that realistic look. That was not possible previously, but now with Strata, we can create complex material. So it's pretty cool. And the node setup is pretty simple, right? So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. And I'm going to like make a whole Strata series where I make material specific videos. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Also, if you learned something, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video.